Hi, hello friends. Welcome everyone to Option Omega, India's largest retail option traders online conference. I'm Ashok Devanam Priya, the CEO of Traders Gurukul and also the host for your today's program. It's really a great pleasure and honor to welcome every one of you to the third edition of this beautiful options learning series. Before we kick off, I would like to thank our media partner Money Control Pro, the largest financial portal in India with millions of daily readership on their website. I would also like to thank our title sponsor Espresso from the family of Sher Khan, one of the leading stock brokers in India with millions of investors as their customers. At last, I would like to make a special mention about our platform sponsor Riggy, a platform for creators, influencers and celebrities to grow, manage and monetize their community. The speaker for today is my great friend Shivakumar Jaychandran from Bangalore. He is a successful option scalper popularly known as just shiva in twitter a serial entrepreneur who took successful exit from his bpo business before venturing into this beautiful world of financial markets currently he is a founder ceo of oipulse.com and he mentors budding professional traders to successfully swim in the world of options he is going to empower us today with a special topic two candle theory using kingdom model Dear Shiva, on behalf of Traders Gurukul, Money Control Pro, Espresso, and Riggi, I extend my warm welcome into this program as a speaker. Go ahead, my friend. The stage is yours. Thanks, thanks, uh, Ashok, and uh, glad to be part of Traders Gurukul once again and uh, being part of such a uh, wonderful event, uh, being part of Option Omega. It gives me a great pleasure, and I hope uh, the participants also gain some input and insights from the sessions today. So the previous one we covered about uh, the open and high strategy and uh, how to connect the dots in the market. So this particular uh, session, today's session is going to be more talking about in current market volatility. Many people like and try to uh, understand Shiva, is there going to be a strategy where and I just wanted to get in and get out because I don't feel comfortable holding on to my trades for too long. So for the people who think that Shiva as an option buyer or a scalper, give me one strategy which I think it gives me a probability of winning at least 80% of the time when I play in the market. So today's strategy which we are going to be looking at is going to be giving you more insight about that. So as Ashok introduced myself, I'm an NISM certified professional for equity and derivatives. But having in 10 years of experience and doing part-time trading and I've been in the market since 2007. And most importantly, in today's session, whatever the things which you're going to be learning, please, please, please take proper due care because whatever the system which any trainer or for that matter myself, when we are trying to teach you, you needed to do it on your own, try to backtest and do whatever that is possible on your end before deploying in a large manner. So moving on. So talking about two candle theory strategy using a kingdom model. So what is that is all about? Why do, why do I need it to say it is a kingdom model? What I'm going to be doing is rather than just teaching you a strategy, I'm just wanting you to play a chess game. I know many of you would have played chess in your childhood or somewhere down the line. Some of you who would not have uh, like in the played chess still don't worry. You would not be like in missing any aspect of it. Still, we will be going through with whatever the minor nuances which we needed to understand as a trader in this particular market. So first and foremost, what is two candle theory? You are going to be getting in complete insight about a two candle theory when you needed to enter, when you should not be. What are the things which I should be watching? as a trader to enter into a particular trade. First and foremost, from a scalper mindset, I needed to know whether should I be trading all day? Many people think if you are a scalper, you needed to be keep trading on every candle between 9.15 to 3.30, not necessary. As a scalper, you needed to find an edge. What is a edge? You may be able to see one or two good strategies and then refining the particular strategy and then keep improving it. There are people, what they will do is like in, for a period of three months, they will work on a strategy. They feel that this particular strategy is not working anymore on one particular month. Then I needed to look out for a new strategy or a new mentor. That is not necessary. This is the same strategy which I've been using it for almost five, six years. Only thing which I would have done is based on the market moves and other things, I would have refined it. But I didn't change the strategy at all. So similarly, when you get the right set of a strategy, not necessarily it has to be this one. Any particular strategy, 
try to refine it rather than keep looking for an holy grail. Okay, so the two kind of theory is all about finding a breakout trades, especially in index futures and options. So this particular strategy, I may not be able to deploy it in all stock options and stock futures. We can deploy this in the index futures and index options. So I will be guiding you how you needed to be looking at whether to go long or whether to go short, whether to buy a call, whether to buy a put. All those things will be explained to you in this particular session. So as a scalper or an intraday trader, what is that which we needed it? All we need is just one or two good strategies to make money and then get out of the market. Most important element, even though there are days wherein you would be seeing certain trades available right in front of you, the system would be giving you all the signals and the chart indicators would be giving you that, yes, you needed to do it. Many a times we lack the will and the execution. Why we do that? because we don't rely on the strategy, whether this particular moment, this strategy is going to be giving me the result or not. When you're like in toggling with multiple strategies, those things tend to happen. Try to focus on one or two or three max. Don't try to complicate things. Try to specialize rather than knowing everything. You need to know everything, but play only what suits you, what suits your style. In this strategy, what I'm going to be telling you is, I don't want to win the war. I just wanted to win the battles. As a trader, every day you're going to be having a fresh day in life, in markets. So we needed to see whether we are able to win the battles, not the complete war. Yes, like in the positional players would love to like and take a position in the morning. They try to close a position in the evening or the following day. Some of the positional players are like and will try to hold the position for a week or two. But as a scalper, our timeline is going to be maximum of 3 to 15 minutes maximum. If it extends, it can be going up to 30 minutes. So whatever the strategy which we are trying to build, we needed to ensure that we stick to that with discipline. Now, as we add into this two candle theory, first and foremost, I wanted to treat you all like an whomever it is. It, it can be a man or a woman or a boy or a girl. Now you all needed to consider yourself as a king because I'm going to be making you all a king for this kingdom theory, which we are going to be seeing for the next two hours. Moving on. First and foremost, what does a king needed to know? If you are like an, if you are in a, like in a king and we're like in a holding a kingdom, what are the things which you needed to be knowing? First and foremost, you needed to be very well aware whom you needed to deploy where and how you needed to effectively use them. That's the most important thing. Now, as a king, you needed to understand your soldiers are your key, key indicators. When I say the soldiers, like in the, whatever the indicators which you are using it in the chart, those are going to be your critical indicators. So what I've termed them is your indicators or your soldiers. Just keep looking, putting it in your mind. Even in the school, when we go to the history class, we tend to listen a lot. That's the reason I'm just trying to get you into like in a more of an history class so that it absorbs you in your mind so that you can think tomorrow when the market action is happening, am I like I'm trying to deploy the right soldiers at the right time? So that's the reason I'm asking you, you consider your indicators as your soldiers. Next, the king needed to know which indicators of the soldiers need to be deployed on the battlefield and when. Imagine if there is going to be like an, an uh, army of uh, 100 people coming in, will you deploy all your resources at one go? No. Similar to that, even as an, uh, what to say, a day trader, you need to know how much capital I can deploy. Imagine that the market move is not much today. Will you deploy your 100% of your cash? No way. If the market is not trading with volume or if it is trading with thin volume before an event or after the event, I would normally cut down my position. That's exactly as a king you needed to know. You needed to def like and defend your kingdom with the resources based on that particular day's move. So the king has to know whatever the resources which he has, whether it is sufficient for him to do it. Sometimes if you are using your resources morning itself, and if you're running out of your ammunition in the second half, then you may not be able to win the battle. So that's the reason as a king, you need to know how you are able to like, use your resources in the battlefield. Now, you needed to know, this guy is talking about the soldiers, the battlefield, the indicators and other things. How will I know which indicators to be used where? What are those indicators of the soldiers which I needed to be using it? Now we will get into that. I'm going to be showing you a few indicators and I have termed them as well. If you have been happened to be in chess, now you will be able to correlate it as well. Look at this. First and foremost, 
what we have done is queen which is nothing but the open interest so what we have directly said queen equal to open interest so whenever you see the queen we needed to give them the maximum importance after king queen is going to be the most important one in the chess so we are giving open interest for me because open interest is next to god i will consider open interest is equal to queen the next one weapons equal to the volume imagine whatever the moves which is happening like and there will be like a few guy who will be coming with like a 100 quantity there will be another guy who will trade with 200 quantity there will be another guy who will come with 2000 quantity there will be different kinds of a weapon which will be used so i'm correlating the weapons equal to the volume the next one the rsi or the territory you needed to know which rsi levels wherein i needed to be a buyer or a seller so imagine if it is it like in the market is moving up and if the rsi is around 50 to 75 and if you are trying to short it then you will be the one who will be getting butchered because it is already there in the buyer's territory so that's the reason i have correlated territory equal to rsi and then the candles whatever the candles that is getting formed when you are looking at a 3 minute or a 5 minute you will see the candles like you know forming first in the first one minute the green and then the second minute red and then the third minute again changing into green and then getting a close so what is happening first minute the bulls are winning it second minute the bears are winning it third minute the bulls are again coming back and taking it so what is that is all about it is all the battle which is happening between a bull and a bear between that three minute time frame so that's the reason the candles i have equated them to the battle next apart from this there are another four more indicators which we will be using it for today's session again remember all these are on 3 minute and 5 minute time frame which we are going to be looking at the next indicator which i am going to be talking about is equal to parabolic sar which is nothing but the bishop forming i will tell you why i am equating parabolic sar to bishop when i am showing you the chart how the bishop moves how the parabolic sar moves you will get to see that the next one is the night or the super trend and then the settings is 10 to on a 3 minute and time 5 minute time frame i use the super trend setting 10 to into the multipliers and i'm equating that to night moving on this is my weakest and the one of the like in a, a foremost important indicator which is called as a pawn which i'm equating it to wma volume weighted moving average of 20 so this i will again show you in the chart why that is necessary for an intraday trader why we needed this particular indicator on this two candle theory and then the last one which is nothing but the rook or the vwap this is going to be the most most important indicator apart from the open interest forming so open interest will be the first one the vwap will be the second one which is nothing but i'm equating it to the rook now that you have seen all the indicators i will repeat it queen equal to open interest weapons equal to volume territory equal to rsi battle equal to candles once we get in you will understand how all these indicators are going to be playing in the actual market scenario so bishop equal to parabolic sar knight equal to super trend pawn equal to wma rook equal to the vwap so now that we have seen this we will get in to the next layer okay shiva you told me about this indicators and ethics now you tell me when to buy when to sell that is what is important for me i needed to make money when and how you will be able to make money imagine you wanted to initiate a long trade in the index futures or you wanted to buy a call options again i repeat this is for initiating a long trade in the index futures or buying a call option and most important element it is on a 3 minute or a 5 minute time frame now whenever you see the index futures trade above the vwap whenever the index futures trade above the vwap i'll just show you a chart as well so that you will be able to visualize what i am talking about this is the chart now do you see this blue dots those are the parabolic sar or your bishop do you see this green line which will turn into red when it goes above the candle that is our super trend do you see this red line which is running through all along that is our vwap do you see this blue line that is our wma 
the below part we see the rsi levels here 80 and 20 the open address is below and these are your volume bars so we have seen all the indicators now i'm going to be visualizing you and telling you how you needed to be looking at if the index futures trades above the vwap that is the rook following parameters to be checked for the two candle theory what are the following parameters to be checked i always initiate a long trade only when the uh, like in the, what to say the candle getting formed strong above the vwap that is when i will get maximum conviction why i get maximum conviction only when it is trading above the vwap what is vwap volume weighted average price of that particular day the, like in, you will see that the particular red bar is moving along all through the day that means someone buying and selling and everything imagine if i am a major player in the market today if i'm buying something okay and i needed to ensure to bring 50 to 100 all across the uh, yeah, forum you guys get to meet all the trainers most of the from the financial markets and be the greatest gathering happened i want to say the price has been extremely Three, fundamentally three things happen one number one, knowledge session number two trade knowledge champions number three the biggest uh, trainer gathering okay these are the biggest that's going to happen and we have priced the event extremely low okay that amount also we are more going to give it back to you guys in the form of progress credits so please do not this is going to be a thing experience for you you will have all trainers in a single form and you you get a chance to meet that one in person as well. Please. Next slide. More. So this event has been charged 24.99. It is going to be happening in a five-star property in the northern part of Bangalore, a total hidden for three days with eight million students. And this is one of the most current price ever done for the to from talk for manager mr fazi we have sold more than 100 tickets i think we are opening tickets oh, for 200 tickets because now that this event is getting we need more people to participate we are expecting the rooms as well so make use of the opportunity grab your number for the job all right <clears throat> i look forward to see you all you are not going to meet me you are going to meet all some of the known trainers across in a single form Take block your seat, fly ticket. I'll see you all in the month of September. Next slide. Here's the quiz number seven of option mega series. Some calls have dashed positive or negative. Pit calls dash delta positive or negative. Next slide, please. So winner will get a chance to participate in one of this award, and the winner will also get to act the intros and event absolutely for with lifetime recording this and it will be five fingers the man of the series is get about hundred thousand of radical please okay the winner of quiz number six mr Shvi, in sideways market strategies can develop take advantage of the data okay. thank you Harish. congratulations look forward you in intros conference in the month of November. Very much.